Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to a brand new video. Hopefully you're doing well, and hopefully when this video goes out, you had an awesome weekend. Um, but today I'm going to be answering the most popular questions that I get either on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, any place where anybody can interact with me uh, is I'm going to answer you the questions. So I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible to not drag this on too much. But if you do enjoy the video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. So first question, will you be starting a new playthrough for 1.0? Yes. What is the most wanted item or quality of life feature that you would like to see added to Satisfactory? I would like, uh, on top of what we already know after the trailers and the quantum stuff, I would like to see a train waypoint system. And what that means is I can tell a train to go through this waypoint instead of it going directly to a train station. What this allows us to do is allows us, us as the player to control where the train goes and what line it takes. So if I want to create a prairie to line on the left and i've got a line on the right where it has many junctions where it could pause due to block signals or path signals um i want to send it to the left one because it could be going to a prioritized building that could cause a lot of problems with any future factories or current factories what time do you think 1.0 will release on the 10th of september i'm going to predict 5 p.m uk time the reason being it's kind of like a ritual kind of thing now uh, ever since all the previous updates have been released, they kind of released around 5 p.m. Do you think there'll be a second map? No, but I'm hoping for a map creator. I would like a tool where we, as the community, can create maps. And then we can share them via Steam or kind of like a community hub because that will give us endless maps. Do you think there will be a launch stream like previous update releases? I think there will be. I feel like... Um, people have said no, um, but I have a very, very funny feeling it will be. It's it's the big one. It, it There has to be. There has to be. Will there be a patch notes video? I don't think there will be. I believe there will be a launch stream, but I don't believe there's going to be a patch notes video. The reason being is the recent patch note videos were kind of for the experimental branches that was coming out and all this kind of stuff. And then the trailer dropped for the early access release. Um, but we're not going to experimental. I think we're just going to get straight a full satisfactory launch trailer uh, which will be showing things from the beginning a uh, bit of the story all that kind of stuff and not just what is coming in the next patch kind of thing do you think satisfactory will ever come to consoles yes i do believe this a lot of people tell me no but the reason i think this is because over the years the ui has adapted to allow the function for controller support um so i do think it's going to come uh, but if you hold E in the game, you actually get the dial wheel, which is very, very controller focused. What are your PC specs to run the current version? And are you planning to upgrade anytime soon? My PC specs are in the description below. And if I do upgrade, I'll probably jump from a 49 to a 50 series uh, and go to a higher CPU. The reason being, I want to make sure I can render videos faster, get onto you guys' faces faster, make sure I can give you and provide you the best quality content visually as well. What is your best advice for a new player? Take your time, enjoy the game, don't get discouraged to what other people are doing and just play at your own pace. And like I said, enjoy bloody game. What is your best advice for a new player? My advice would be enjoy the game, play it at your own pace. Do not get discouraged about what I'm doing, other content creators are doing, other people are doing, because you've seen it in a screenshot. Just learn the game at your own pace because everyone learns the game differently. This could be visual, this could be reading things, but just have fun, sit backs. There's no time limit. Just enjoy the game. Will you be doing guides for 1.0? Yes, I'm going to be revamping every single guide that I've done in the past up to current present day because over the time they've kind of outdated because recipes have changed, updates have changed, features have changed and all that kind of stuff. What do you think Mercy Spheres and Summer Sloops will be used for? I think Summer Sloops um, are going to be used for personally kind of like a collectible item you know so go throughout the game get this get a certain reward in the awesome shop but the mercy spheres i'm a little bit confused about because we know they've got some audio and dialogue and we know that's not going to come to the story now and we've already been told mercy spheres and summer sloops are not part of the story um, but i have a funny feeling that they might give us a little bit of lore into what is mainly going on they're not going to be fully connected but it will give you some additional kind of like data log door let data log lore that makes more sense will you be using mods for your playthrough yes i'll be using mods for my playthrough which will be pack utility which 
allows me to fly. And you must be wondering, there's already flying in the game. Why can you not just use the advanced game settings? Well, the advanced game settings flying is not is more performance friendly um, because it, it, does, it only allows you to go so slow. But when I'm um, showing people around my factory in like the Twitch streams, for example, um, I might want to go from A to B a little bit quicker so I can continue with the production to work on a video that I'm currently doing. It allows me to go into creative mode. So again, when people ask me on the Twitch streams, how did you build that? I can quickly go into creative mode, quickly show them how to build it without going all the way to the other side of the map to go to my storage to come back to then show them how to do it. So that's the reason I do it. And then I also use Sky UI and Sky UI is a um, mod that allows you to change the time of day. And the reason I use that is for thumbnails. I also use it for constant daylight for the YouTube videos. Otherwise, one time it could be nighttime and I could skip to another segment of the video and then it's daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, dawn, dusk. It doesn't look, it's not good for a viewing experience. So on the Twitch streams, I'll be having the day and night cycle on, but on the YouTube videos, I will not be having them on. Unless I want to kind of show you something at night with lights and all that stuff. What will you be bringing from the other series to the new playthrough? I'm going to be bringing water bottles. Uh, I'm going to bring in the modular engines. Uh, I'm going to bring in the Titan build and I'm going to be building and bringing in the rail network but we're going to expand on that dramatically what's your process to planning new factories I do not plan or a factory a lot of people think I do uh, but when it comes to factories I literally think uh, what item do I want to make now so heavy modular frames I will then go okay I need this I will then go okay what recipes do I need to make that what's the items I need I then go bam 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 that's the items I need so let's figure out where I want to bring them to and that's it. The design of the factory, how it looks, the all that kind of stuff does not get planned. I wing it. It's the best way to do because I feel like if you plan, you kind of get too familiar with your current build and it's always the same. How do you balance your videos to allow new and experienced players to enjoy them? This is a very good question, actually. So I do get asked this. Uh, it's, it's different for Twitch and it's different for YouTube uh, because on Twitch, um, if I want to... Uh, help support new players i don't use blueprints the reason i don't use blueprints is because if you was to come new into the to my content for example and you instantly see me put a blueprint down and i'm building a factory and all you're seeing is me blueprint spamming certain things you'll be like what the hell is going on i don't usually do that i like to build everything by hand it does extend the time a little bit uh, and all that kind of stuff and then i basically uh i get told this and complimented this a lot is that I do answer a lot of the questions. Like some people, new enough every stream, I always get asked, how do I do a certain design new enough in every live stream? And I repeat it without getting frustrated because I've got to understand that new players are very curious on certain things and it will happen over and over again. In regards to experienced players, they just know uh, the ins and outs of the game. They kind of respect um, the kind of the, the, the grind and all this kind of stuff. So I feel like experienced players just kind of do their own thing, but trying to customize it to new players is a, a, a kind of like a skill you have to, well, basically develop over time. Hopefully that answers your question. If you do start a new series, how do you plan your videos for viewability? Okay, so this is very similar to the question before, but I'm going to presume what, what you're trying to ask here is how do I make it so it's like story based? So when you watch one video, you know what's happening in the next video. So the way I kind of work my videos is I have one source. So think as one outcome, one factory as a storybook, and then multiple episodes will lead to the conclusion, which is, let's say, a quartz mega factory. Um, so maybe six videos will work as chapters, which make towards... Uh, kind of like the ultimate boss battle, which is the factory overhaul completion. How many hours do you have in total within Satisfactory? Just under 12,000. And no, not a lot of that was AFK. Um, some people do think that. Uh, I've been playing this game near enough every single day, apart from a couple of weeks off this year as of 2024, where previously when I first started the game, I was grinding 12 plus hours a day for near enough the first year and a half of me creating content on this game. That was before I even did YouTube, so. Will you ever do a multiplayer session with Total Eclipse and I'm Kibitz? This is something we do get asked a lot, a hell of a lot. And it is something we have kind of talked about a little bit many months ago um, and how would we want to do it if we was to do it and when would be the best time to do it. We kind of agreed that it wouldn't be best to do it through early access, but maybe something 
in regards to 1.0 or after 1.0. Um, but we have no plans in the works. We have nothing like that. But I think it'd be a cool series. We are, well, we're all extremely busy with our, with our own projects. And if we was to do something, it might just be like a one bang video. We can do something fun or a challenge or something like that. But in regards to a full series, solution would be to kind of do like a pass it on kind of save. So one week I have it, the next week Total has it, the week after that Kibbs has it. And then we all kind of basically do that. And then you guys will be going around each person's channel to watch the continuation of the story, basically. To answer your question, we don't have any plans yet. How do you go about using blueprints? Well, this kind of has been answered a little bit earlier, but it's going to change slightly in regards to 1.0 because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using blueprints a little bit more. I'm going to be creating some design blueprints and some production line blueprints. And what I want to do with this is I want to make a dedicated YouTube video with every blueprint. So if someone goes, how did you build that? Bam, there's the blueprint video. Uh, so if somebody asks on the Twitch stream, they can do a command. It'll take them directly to that video. And in the in regards to the YouTube videos, you'll see me use them. And again, the blueprint video is there. And also it'll be available to download in that blueprint well it'll be able to download in that blueprint video in the description will you be sharing your saves and blueprints with us yes i've just answered the blueprint one but regarding the saves i will be doing i always put a little disclaimer in regard to the save the reason being is when we just before we went to unreal engine 5 i released my save and then i had to retract it the reason being my save was that big uh, we had two people uh, whose gpus actually bricked which was crazy uh, because of the uh, the demand. They wasn't able to. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, they started having loads of artifacting and everything. It was just absolutely mad. But hopefully that answers that question. I will be releasing saves and I will be releasing the blueprints. And there we have it. 20 of the most popular question you guys asked. So hopefully that answers a lot of your questions. I know there's probably going to be more that pop up. So maybe I'll follow up with this with some more questions many months down the line but thank you so much for watching and uh keep smiling as always and i'll see you in another video